Hey, this is Dr. Barry. In this short video, let's discuss how to cure metabolic syndrome. Now, I was going to just make a friendly neighborhood YouTube video about how to cure metabolic syndrome until during my research for this video, I came across a website article about how to treat metabolic syndrome. I thought, well, this is a, a seemingly reputable website, and we'll refer to this website as Spider Web MD. Okay, and so they had an article called How to Treat, Not Cure, Metabolic Syndrome, and I thought I would read that quickly and maybe pick up an idea or two that I could share with you and teach you something. And so the more I read, the more triggered I got, and so I decided to change this video just a little bit because I can't really hide it when I get triggered by ignorance. And let's talk about this article that I saw on SpiderWebMD. Okay, now here's how they propose that you treat metabolic syndrome. And I'm going to tell you what metabolic syndrome is in a minute and why this really is a, a stupid article. So exercise. They say you should exercise to treat your metabolic syndrome. And exercise is great for you in many ways, and it might help metabolic syndrome a little. But in the big picture, there are things that are so much better for treating metabolic syndrome, for curing, for reversing metabolic syndrome. Why would you pick exercise as number one unless you're trying to make people fail and feel guilty? Number two, they said you should eat lots of fruit and lots of whole grains, both of which will make metabolic syndrome worse, not better. So then the next one is good medical advice. They say you should quit smoking. Now that's good medical advice, but it has not a damn thing to do with metabolic syndrome. And then finally, they have this very large section on Spiderweb MD about how you should take medicine for your metabolic syndrome. And they go on to name multiple medicines by brand name. Now, if you're not in the medical industry, you may not understand the egregiousness of this. You, when you're speaking about a medication, you call the generic name because we're not trying to advertise for pills as, as medical professionals. But evidently, Spiderweb MD is trying to advertise for the very specific brand name drugs. They list about 10 different ones that you should take for your diabetes and your high blood pressure if you have metabolic syndrome. And so now let's talk about what metabolic syndrome really is and how you really cure it or reverse it. So metabolic syndrome is when you have three, at least three of the following five things. Elevated triglycerides, <clears throat> uh, HDL cholesterol that's too low, high blood pressure, central adiposity, which means fat inside your belly, and high blood sugar. Those are the five criteria, and if you have three or more of those, then you have metabolic syndrome. The reason we care about metabolic syndrome is because it greatly increases your risk of having a heart attack, of having a stroke, of having kidney failure, of having liver failure, of having all these terrible outcomes that we're trying to prevent. So uh, the other thing that SpiderWebMD is very clear to point out is that you, you should uh, watch your cholesterol numbers. And so... As you just heard in the, the criteria, cholesterol is not mentioned. LDL is not mentioned. They have nothing to do with metabolic syndrome, although this article on SpiderWebMD mentioned it about three times. It has nothing to do with cholesterol. You remember the five. Did I mention cholesterol or HDL? No, I didn't. So I noticed early in my career, uh, back when metabolic syndrome was kind of catching on as a concept, there were a lot of experts in the field who didn't want to talk about metabolic syndrome and they didn't want to act like it was a real thing. And looking back now, I think it's because you can cure metabolic syndrome easily by reversing these five things. And I'm going to tell you how to do that at the end of this video. They wanted to talk about pills, kind of like SpiderWebMD. They didn't want to talk about how you can just cure it. They wanted to prescribe pills for it, I think. And so it's really, really disappointing. So now let me tell you how to cure Metabolic syndrome, it's very easy. All five of these things, the high triglycerides, the low HDL, the high blood pressure, the central adiposity or belly, belly fat, the fat inside your belly, and high blood sugar are all caused or cause elevated insulin, right? And so when you lower the insulin level, the blood pressure comes down. Your HDL goes up, your triglycerides come down, and you lose the fat inside your belly. You do all this 
by lowering your blood sugar, and you do that by lowering your carb intake. It's that simple. So anytime you eat a carb, make that carb count. If you're gonna eat a carb, you need to eat a nutrient-dense carb. And so whole grains are out. The modified modern fruits that we have now are out. You can't eat those or you'll, you'll have worsening metabolic syndrome. You've gotta eat good fatty meats, you've gotta eat good vegetables, you've gotta eat eggs, you've gotta eat good fats like butter and lard and avocado oil. That's how you cure and reverse metabolic syndrome. If you'll look on Facebook or Instagram, you'll see thousands upon thousands of people in the US and in Canada who definitely had metabolic syndrome, no doubt about it. And after they started eating a ketogenic diet, plus or minus uh, time-restricted eating or intermittent fasting, their metabolic syndrome is gone. And so you can call it reversed or you can call it cured. I don't care what you call it, just as long as you cure it or reverse it, right? So the only way to cure metabolic syndrome is not with all the name brand pills that SpiderWebMD talks about. It's not by stopping smoking. It's not by eating more fruits and whole grains. That's not how you cure metabolic syndrome. You cure metabolic syndrome by eating a good whole food ketogenic diet, plus or minus intermittent fasting. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please take one second and click that subscribe button and then click the little bell right beside it so that every time I get a bright idea, you'll be one of the very first to know. And if my videos have changed your life a little bit, click on the Patreon link down below. You can sign up very quickly and send a buck or two my way to help me have more time to make more videos just like this one. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.